Now what are these two files? Now is where I have to talk about this MVC thing. Okay? So MVC stands for Model View Controller. Okay? Model View Controller is a way of kind of dividing up all the classes in our object-oriented app into three different groups. The model group, the view group, and the controller group. Okay, what are those three groups? The model group is what our program does that's UI independent. So for a calculator, it's going to be all the calculating, the things that actually does the calculations, right? That's UI independent. That's going to be our model. Okay? The view is the user interface that the user interacts with. So for the calculator, it's the buttons and the display and all that stuff. That is the view. Okay? Usually that's made of generic user interface elements like buttons and things like that. And then there's the controller. The controller is the glue between the model and the view. Okay? It's the thing that listens to what's happening in the UI, makes decisions, updates the model. If something changes the model, maybe it changes the UI. Okay? Back and forth. It's really where the interface, uh, the logic of our entire app really lives in our controller. Okay? So this file right here, viewcontroller.swift, that is our controller. Okay? Our app is only, only has one MVC, okay? which is the calculator MVC, and this is its controller, okay? the C of MVC. Now, here is your first look at Swift. Uh, you, we're gonna, I'm going to explain this a little real briefly. You can see that Xcode has thrown in a couple of methods for me. Everyone knows what a method is. Um, they're so exciting that I'm going to delete them. Okay? That's because I, d I don't want to distract you with a lot of random code, so we're going to keep down just to the minimal code we're going to use. We, don't, we will be using those methods later uh, in the course. Those are part of what's called the view controller lifecycle, uh, but we don't need it for our calculator app. So let's look at what we have left here. This import is kind of like an include in other languages or import in other languages, but this is not a file. This is a module. And in Swift, you can group a whole bunch of classes together, and you know, call, that's called a module. And when you import a module, all those classes will be visible, uh, if they're public classes, to whatever's using it. So here, UIKit has all the user interface things, buttons, text fields, all that stuff, OK, is in there. And so since we're building a UI app here, a calculator, we're going to import UIKit. And you're almost always going to import UIKit. Okay? Now in our model, where it's UI independent, we're going to probably be importing foundation. Foundation is that core services thing, okay? because we might be doing networking and databasing in our model, but we're not doing buttons and stuff. So those are the two main things you import. Okay? Here is the definition, or declaration really, of a class. Okay? In Swift is what it looks like. You got the class keyword. This is the name of the class, view controller. Now this is a pretty bad name. OK, because it's very generic, view controller. Probably be better called calculator controller or calculator view controller. Um, I'm not going to show you how to rename that now, but I will show you next week. Um, but this is the name of our controller class. This colon UI view controller means that UI view controller is the class our controller inherits from. This is object oriented programming. We have inheritance. This is the inheritance, single inheritance in Swift. OK? Um, all controllers, all MVC controllers, must inherit from UI View Controller, either directly or indirectly from UI View Controller. Okay? And then we have curly brace here. Inside those curly braces goes all of our properties and methods. Okay? Properties are like instance variables. Everyone knows what an instance variable is, right? So our property, we call them properties in Swift. They're very powerful in Swift, the instance variables. They can have behavior associated with them and things like that. Uh, but all that goes inside these curly braces. Okay? So that's your intro to Swift.